plus 7, 16. 8 times 8, 64. Correcto, mundo. 9 times 9. What happened to your other watch? The one that didn't beep. Look, the beep lets you know it's working. This is going to be a long day. Hey, look here. Every once in a while, OK, there's a technological breakthrough. All right? It's what we call in the business a game changer. They got these things today, I'm telling you. You can go deep sea diving with one, OK? First, there was the clapper. You got the slap chop, George Foreman grill. Then you got this little baby right here, OK? It tells you all the stuff about the oxygen content in your tank. If I'd have had this thing back in high school, the depth, OK, that you can go. You talking about do some math. That watch does that? No, this thing here only costs 25 bucks. It's a calculator. Hey, I've been like Goodwill hunting. Hey, you like those Apple Jacks? Y'all miss me? Should I go to the creamery? Oh, yeah. I love that place. I have double cheese in between each patty. That place is awesome. It's just always packed. It's probably what? 400 people go through there in a day? They gotta be making a killing. Let's say you put in quarter for the bun. Okay. Say you got 75 cents in the meat. Okay. Cheese is. What else? Lettuce, tomato? Some paper, the drink. Right, si, quit hey, that no. stupid beef. Hey, I'm a math man. I went to business school, so I have a fine-tuned ability to assess profit. $2.50 per burger. But the truth is, it ain't all that hard to figure out if a business is going to make money. Hey, on a week, they make $345,632. What? Them boys are making a killing. Unless you're Cy Robertson. I mean, it's like 15 to 20 million a year, Cy. Si. They're not making We're not making that. Well, hey, I told is you. Is it possible I... you might have hit the wrong numbers? Hey, the calculator does not lie. All right, whatever. Y'all need to get back to work. Where are we at on this order? 100 calls left. How long is it going to take? We're close. It'll take us about two weeks to get it done. <laughs> si. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I just calculated it on the machine. You got a hundred left, okay? Get it done. So it's a hundred duck calls. Hey, look, don't blame the machine. What are you doing? Hmm, working on my newest idea. Willie's Quack Shack. Oh. Awesome burgers, good sides, good times. <laughs> when I see a promising business opportunity, I can't pass it up. How hard can it be? I've known Willie his entire life. He's not passing up a burger. I make the best burger in this town. I just don't sell them, but I should, and I will. Two words. Early retirement. In town? You don't make the best burger in our family. What? I got two words for you. Food poisoning. Willie, I make better burgers than you. Have you lost your mind? No. So out of this family, who makes the best burger? Phil. Besides Phil, who makes the best burger? Kate. All right, between me and Jace, Look, who makes hey, the best I burger? I have to eat one from both of you. Fair enough. I'll take him on. In a burger cook-off? Yeah. Just because Jeez. I don't eat as many doesn't mean I don't know how to cook better. We gonna do this again? Burger eating competition? No question. Willie's your man. Fine. We'll cook burgers. Me against you. But this is a burger making competition. Just like old times. Oh, Willie's going down. Oh, it's old. I'm like the redneck Emerald Lagasse. I need to do some market research anyway. Let's go. So si, that's not actually in your own head. We can all hear that. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, look. I'll put my appointments in here, okay? And when it be what, your appointments, nap time and bathroom time. Hey. An appointment is an appointment. Let's go. We gotta get some supplies. Hey, I'll make an appointment for the cookout. Sa, si, turn that stupid watch off. So why do you need newspapers? Uh, Jessica's got some kind of art project called decoupage. What? 
Decoupage. It's a French word. I know it sounds kind of dirty. It's like it's like masticate or cockle. They're funny words. It's whatever. Around here, stuff tends to pile up. A lot of what most people would characterize as junk. Whoa. So when my son comes rolling in and his woman's into a decacacal, decacacal, whatever it is, what do you think? Is that enough to take care of your business? Yeah, I think this is plenty, Dad. And I have to seize upon the opportunity. How much of this stuff you need? Uh, just a bit of it. Next thing you know, the pile's not there anymore, and old Jeff walking off, you know, sweating. <laughs> That's a treasure trove of paper. You got a big bunch of junk's what you got. Are you kidding? Think about kindling. How many fires could you start with that? I've seen my dad try to set this trap before. Manufacturing housing cost guide. You need one of those? No, but I came for a few stacks of newspaper. Phone books. No. Find out what someone's telephone number used to be. That, that sounds like useless information to me, and that's what I'm going to leave with. Some encyclopedias there? No. Pad boxes? No. Cat litter? Do you have cats? No. I know he ain't looking at decoupage. Call it my recycling bin. Well, it's not a recycling bin unless you recycle it. He's looking for a dump truck. You need it, Sam. Bingo. Recycled. This is not recycling, Dad. You have to take it to the recycling center. Recycling center? Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. Load it up. Well, I mean, not me. I mean, you should get Jimmy Red. Yeah. Or... That's what I got you for, son. Blood can on the way to roll. Yeah, I don't I don't like that policy. I don't want to do this. Don't like the policy? No, sir. So you're looking for old newspapers. Man, do I have a sale for you. You need what I have. And that is the only way you get them. It's all about supply and demand. Get your wheelbarrow. Uh, hey, you knock it out in 15 minutes. No, it's going to take a lot longer than that. No, not if you hurry. Y'all ready? I'm gonna use baskets. How are you gonna carry your groceries? That's what women do. All right, let me just say it. I don't like grocery stores. I'm a man. This doesn't say women on it. Hey, it is a grocery purse. The last thing I'm going to do is to go get a basket to put my food in. It's a basket? Size right. Yeah, but it looks good on you. Jace is trying to get my head over this burger cook-off. Just like every competition we've ever had. No looking at my ingredients. It's a hamburger. That's why you're going to lose. Chase doesn't have any secret ingredients. He just doesn't want me to see that he has no idea what he's doing. All right, I'm going to get our beef. You want me to tie me? Yeah, go ahead. All right, let me get my stopwatch up. OK. The grocery store? Now, this is my domain. Hey, Jace, why don't you try to take a shark on in the ocean? That's what that's like. It's like a shark in the ocean, like me in a grocery store. Well, we don't want meat in a tube. What? Okay. It's the same Look. thing, son. Hey. Yeah, y'all need to move on. I don't want you seeing what I'm getting. Let me guess. We're both going to get some ground beef. We're making hamburgers. Yeah. This is the key ingredient. Go ahead, Will. Use your mystery meat. How's it going today? Here's the man I'm looking for right here, the butcher. All right. The meat I'm buying? But what I want to know is how fresh is this beef? It requires a full. Are these free range cows or are they in a pen? Thorough. Do you grind this meat up yourself? Interrogation. What are you, the health inspector? This is what champions do. I want to put this guy on the hot seat. How long do you have the meat on the shelf? Do the cows come from other states or are these Louisiana cows? You know, tighten the sphincter. If you want to be an idiot, go ahead. We're getting our beef going. There's no shortcuts when it comes to winning. You take the best. Can you grind up a ribeye? Oh, yeah, I can grind anything you want. It'd just be a little more expensive. Oh, money's not an option here. Mm-hmm. What are you doing, Gal? I'm working on the neck now. Who eats chicken in a grocery store? You can't shop on an empty stomach. You'll buy the whole store. Ah. Easy. Ah. Ah. Man, this is a lot harder than I thought. Ah. Boy, it's nice to be young, ain't it? I wish I was your age, Jeff. <sighs> I wish you were my age, too, so you could help me do this crap. I think it's a two-man job. Two-man job? Yeah. No. 
One thing I tried to instill in my boys, in life, there's always risk and rewards. Remember, the old recycling caper was your idea, not mine. Not really, I think it was a terrific idea. Coming down to the old homestead, he took a big risk. Well, you're not even sweating that much. But at the end of the day, it'll pay big rewards. My underwear are soaked in sweat. Really? Yes. For me, at least. Hi, babe. Hi. Hey. Well, ladies. Did you get this for me for my decoupaging? Yep. That's so sweet. I mean, I don't necessarily know if I need this much, but... What do you do on the decoupage? How do you do it? Decoupage. You take cute little articles and pictures and glue them down and put a varnish over them. Oh, I just love old newspapers. You know, the memories and just seeing old pictures. That's weird, Mom. I'm old, Jeff. I like old things. Yeah, but that's just like creepy old woman thing. I like old things, too. OK. <laughs> this decapouche? Can you teach me how to do capouche? Or whatever you call it. It sounds like really fun. <laughs> decapouche. Yeah, you can join me. I love bringing old things back to life. You want a decapouche with me? OK, <laughs> decapouche. De decapouche? Well, I know it's French, right? Decapouche. If I hear that word one more time, I'm fixing to throw up. <laughs> Isn't he precious? All aboard the K-Train. Destination Funville. I want this one and this one. Choo-choo. All right, OK, take the rest, babe. Don't work too hard. Too late. Stupid decoupage. Welcome to Duck Commander's first annual burger cookout. Why what? are you yelling? Hey, I'm announcing. Nobody's here. It's just us. Well, I know. I'm announcing. I'm getting into it. Well, just do it oh, soft. Okay. What are you cooking? I'm calling this my Willie Super Stack. Let me guess. It's fattening. As an older brother, Jace has always acted like he's better at everything. I've got the avocado, cheeses, jalapeno peppers. Why do you have eggs? He's a better hunter. He's a better burger chef. That's my secret ingredient. One time he even told me that he was better at flipping channels. Hey, you top anything with a fried egg. You're going to lose. But I'm confident in my burger skills. This time, Jace has bitten off more than he can chew. See what I did there? No matter what you put on your burger, there's still going to be meat that came from a tube. I got ground up ribeye. What are you using pans for? Don't underestimate the value of That's the pan. That's so rookie, dude. Hey, Sir. we got two judges over here that are hungry. I'm starving to death. You just ate an entire chicken. How could you be hungry? It was a little chicken. Gentlemen, start your grill. On your mark. Get set. You ready? Uh-oh. Si, turn that stupid watch off. Hey. It's distracting. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and start. I gotta fix this watch. If I have to get it. Uh, this pretty well puts me out of the recycling business. I'm getting wore out. Well, we're almost done. We're almost done? Been a hard day, hasn't it? <laughs> Appreciate all your help, Dad. Most dads would just ask for their son's help. My dad is different. How come this stinks so bad? Huh. Paper is like thick and wet. Well, I hate to tell you this, rat pee. But most fathers don't have thousands of newspapers soaked in rat pee. Why didn't you tell me this before? I wouldn't even have done it. Which is why I waited for now to tell you. A tour like that takes more than just asking. You don't divulge that kind of information until the end of the day. It takes a little tricanery. Thanks, Dad. That doesn't seem very fatherly, but... Well, don't be touching your mouth with it. Rat pee in my beard. Thanks, Dad. Best to wash your hand when you get the food with that rat pee like that. You get the hantavirus, then the diarrhea, and the rigors. Most people are immune to it in this part of the country, but subdivision people, it runs through them like sauce through a sick cat. Well, I live in a subdivision. Well, that's now, what I'm so. saying. You're at a higher risk. No doubt about that. I mean, think about it. I'm looking out for you, you know. It's another life lesson. Oh, yeah. getting a little too hot. Well, these are looking good. How's that pan working, Jace? Oh, it's working like a charm. You smell that? No. It's the smell of champions. They both smell like burnt hamburger to me. Uh-huh. Oh. 
Jason, let me borrow one of your pans. I need to cook this egg. You were ragging my pan, and now you want to borrow it? No. Yeah. No. No. I got my bacon grease inside of it. He wants to share in a burger cook-off. As competitive as Willie is, the man doesn't understand competition. I can use that. No. 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 Would Batman give the penguin his Batmobile? You can't use any of my stuff. Would Hacksaw Jim Duggan give King Kong Bundy his two before? Five minutes. Just let me borrow it. This is a competition. Would I give a duck a bulletproof vest? Of course not. Chase. No. 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 But I wouldn't even be having a conversation with a duck. That's it, boys. Time is up. Finally. I'm uh, hungry. Ah, uh, it's not a time competition. You still hungry? I'm still hungry. Hey, give the boy a burger where you shut up. Fine uh, with me. I know I'm gonna win. A whole chicken and a half a cow. Oh. The grill is officially closed. <laughs> All right, Kay. So you kind of just pick out your favorites, cover it with glue. You know? Oh, man, this is uh, neat. And you've gotten some quiet time, because you know with four kids, I don't get much quiet time. So this is kind of my <gasps> relaxing. Look at these cats, just like the cats that I raised when I was young. Her name was Freckle. <laughs> Decoupage is the perfect way to relax. Look at that cute baby. You know, Jason was my fattest baby. Uh-huh. It's quiet. Willie was thin. I don't know what happened to him. It's zen. Have you ever heard a crow? Oh, oh, it's like meditating. Oh, what about football? Well, it is when I do it alone. Did I tell you about that time in college? I think you did. Well, I'll reach out to you, because I love that story. You know what this quiet project needs? More quiet. Hey. Hey. Hey, babe. Whoa. You're tearing up a perfectly good table here. We're creating art. Recycling, decomposing, just a way to get rid of crap. It takes a lot of imagination to do this. Oh, I guarantee you got to reach way back in there. Rat pee and coon dung infested papers. A couple of real Picassos. It's fun. Yeah, let's cut them out, paste them on a table, and then let's eat off of them. Now that is really a way to occupy your time. Of course, on the plus side, I did get a shed cleaned out. So, Phil, how'd your day go? Jeff and I have bonded. Oh, I'm so glad. I've been wanting that to happen for years. We need to find better ways to bond. <laughs> hey, Jeff, maybe you can help your mom get that table into the shed there. Crap. There you go, boys. That's the Willie Super Stack. That is a mountain of beef. It's probably a couple of pounds. I've created the ultimate burger. It's got everything on it. That's a big burger. Of course it is. You're a big man with a healthy appetite. When these guys taste this thing, they're going to forget all about the creamery. I don't know how to attack it. Just climb up on top of it, fat boy, and do your business. It's never good to insult the judges. Fat people can call other people fat. That's OK. I would like to present to you the winning burger. Oh. All right, let's start with my burger first. Let's see right here. Dig in there. Just get on in it. There's too much going on. What is your problem, man? Eat the burger. Where do you grab the thing? You should have put a handle on it. Too much? There's no such thing as too much of a good thing. You overdid it, as usual. You're a terrible judge. Look, let's face it. Nobody really wants to give the boss a trophy. Martin, watch. This is how a man picks up a freaking giant burger and eats it. But that sure is crap ain't gonna stop Godwin. Get it on there, Gavin. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why did you squeeze it like that? I couldn't open like... my mouth that big. Freaking gorilla claws here. That's not a hamburger. That's hamburger soup. Nice. One. Clearly, this is going to be a landslide victory. Now it's time to try my burger. The Jace burger, it's a lot like me. See, look, it's easily handled. It's not real fancy. Yeah, because it's burnt. Doesn't have a lot of fat content. That looks like it came out of the Sahara Desert. Simple, perhaps. But there's the beauty. <laughs> hey. Mm? Yeah. Hit me with it. <laughs> what? Oh. What are you doing? I think it's just a hair overcooked. Maybe it was that meat didn't have enough fat in it. Yeah, that zero fat, you idiot. You got to have fat in oh, it. Wait a minute. Let Godwin have a try. What about it? No, you ain't getting none of my teeth, son. Uh, hey, what's your vote? 
They both lose. Ain't either one of them edible. Si, you gonna try it? No. Hey, this body is my temple. I ain't putting that crap in this temple. Yeah. Well, that was stupid. Let's go to the creamer and get some real burgers. I'm down with that. I'm paying. I'm on timers. Sash. Get ready. Get set. Go. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. We finally got a real burger. A burger, baby. All right, y'all bow. Father, thank you for another day on planet Earth. Thank you for this good food. I pray we do two things, love you more each day and love each other. Amen. 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 In the business world, the end result tends to be all that matters. A product can be made of the best parts, but turn out like crap in the end, like mine and Jace's burgers. Or it can be made out of crap, but turn out great in the end, like the decoupage table. In the family world, though, what matters most ain't the end result, it's the fun you have getting there. Or in Uncle Si's case, timing how long it takes to get there. 345,615 seconds. Si! <laughs> <laughs> So basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?